Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys iPad OS, the brand new iPad OS running on an iPad Pro 11 inch model. Now, as you know, iOS for iPad has been renamed to iPad OS, so from now on, we are gonna be seeing iPad OS on our iPads. So let's take a look at the, some of the new features that you're gonna be getting in the iPad OS for the iPad, and many of these applies to a new way to multitask enhancements to existing multitasking tactics. But the very first thing I wanna show you guys is the modification they were able to make to the actual home screen. Now, first and foremost, all the icons on the screen are smaller so you can fit more applications onto one home screen. On top of that, what you can do is if you swipe over, you can actually now access the today's view on the home screen directly without having to swipe completely over. And of course, this thing over here is completely and fully customizable. You can add more widgets or remove widgets. And also, uh, when you turn off your iPad and you come back to your home screen, this is what you normally see, but you can set it so uh, this one always is here, meaning that this widget screen is in fact pinned on the home screen. So to do that, you simply swipe up, you tap on edit, and then what you do is you say always show the today's view on the home screen in landscape orientation. So if I enable this and if I click done, uh, this is actually going to stay here no matter what. So now when I move over, the whole thing just goes over. And then when I come back, this thing is right over here as well. And then you can have all your widgets right over here. So again, if I go to edit right over here, I can add or remove widgets right from here. I can add batteries. Uh, I can add calendar. Uh, I can add CNN, I can add dictionary, then I can click done, and then you'll see all those widgets right over here. And of course, uh, if I do go back into edit, I can also rearrange these, uh, which is the normal. So I can have important things on the top. Let's say I wanna see the news in the morning, I can put that on the top, and then I can click done. And now, as you can see, weather is here, CNN widget is right over here, calculator is right over here, and all that good stuff. So that's one of the biggest modifications that came to iPad OS a widget based home screen. However, the widgets stay on the side. And of course, one more thing I wanted to show you guys has to do with the Apple Pencil. So when you do launch a notes application, and if you were to just uh, create a new note, just for an, as an example, uh, when you tap on the uh, pen, uh, pen icon here, pencil icon, you get a new set of tools such as the ruler, this thing right over here, you can tap over here. So you can auto minimize this if you want to, okay? And you tap it to expand it, as you can see. Let's tap on that. All right, let me just cancel the auto minimize because it's beta, it's not 100% stable. But you can take this and you can put it anywhere that you want. You can put it on the top over here. All right, and then you can tap it to access it. You can grab it again. You can put it on the side. It is going to expand and also justify itself towards the screen. So that's great. So that's just one more new feature to expect on the iPad OS. Now, the other things that I want to talk about has to do with enhanced multitasking. Now, you already know that we have split screen multitasking capabilities on the iPad and also slide over capabilities. Uh, for example, if I launch the website over here, uh, what I can do is I can uh, pull any of the apps over here and I can dump it over here as a slide over, as a slide over, and uh, this is not connecting for some reason. Uh, but what else I can do is with the slide over, I can even add more slide over windows. So for example, if I had this one right over here, the music application, if I dump it right there, now I have that one over there, but if I'm gonna switch back to the one that I started off with, I can simply swipe to the uh, uh, top, just like that, and I can pick this one. So even the slide over view has its own underlying multitasking. Again, if I grab one more application, let's just grab uh, the calculator application, tap it right over here. Now again, if I uh, choose uh, this bar and just pull it up a little bit, I can switch between all these applications. And of course, when I do want to get rid of these guys, I just go again, go into multitasking and just boom, boom, boom. Now the last one, gone, all right? So that's just great. That's the new slide over tactic. The other thing we have with multitasking is, now you can multitask uh, certain apps in multi-window as well. So I can go to my notes application, and let's say that I have an existing note, and let's say that I wanna create a brand new note, but I wanna work on that note uh, at, in a split screen view. So I wanna look at one note over here and one note over here. I can grab that new note on, or any note to be honest and just drag it to the side and that's gonna give me the split screen multitasking. Now I can work on two notes at the same time, which is fantastic. I can also resize the whole thing. And let's say that I did have two notes side by side and if I wanna choose something else over here, all I have to do is uh, grab any app that I want and just dump it right over here. Uh, oops. 
okay just dump it here or here and they'll take the place of the other window giving me split screen multitasking so that's one number two if I launch Safari by itself let's uh, just make Safari all by itself swipe this away so let's say I want to do a split screen multitasking with Safari itself so I have one tab here and one tab here okay so what I can do is I can grab any one of these tabs again slide it to the side dump it here and get split screen multitasking and then I can swipe this back and forth to resize or whatever uh, exactly the, the way I want it to all right so that's great and then you can do the same thing with mail so if I go to mail's application right over here uh, if I were wanting to take a look at this app mail right here I can grab this swipe it to the side dump it here and boom now I can have a split screen view for my mail as well and again anytime you're done with any one of these you just swipe them away all right so that's great as well also one more thing you must have noticed is when I press and hold on this as you can see you get access to all these options as well okay so that's not bad so press and hold boom so I can actually access these options from here I can trash move mute notify mark whatever so just press and hold on any of these things and it's going to give you that uh, functionality so those are the multitasking enhancements the enhanced slide over and whatnot when you go up to access your windows uh, your existing multitasking uh, projects will remain there by themselves okay and you can get rid of them just like this if you want to cancel the multitasking just swipe it away so that's great all right so that's what we have I do like the slide over feature where you can have multiple things at the same time as a slide over just like that all right and you can switch between these two as I showed you guys calculator okay and to get rid of them you swipe up and then you swipe up and you're back in business and of course the next thing that I want to talk about has to do with the dark mode so let's go to the settings uh, let's go into display and let's enable dark mode everything becomes dark mode okay so you go to the settings everything is black and white uh, not black and white just darker mode uh, you go to your uh, Apple apps and they're also going to be black and white so if I go into Safari now you're going to get a dark mode on it as you can see on the top uh, if I go into my maps application it's going to it's going to have a dark mode which is also great uh, if I go back out if I go into App Store it's going to have a dark mode as well so that's also fantastic if I go to my mail that's going to have a dark mode as well uh, any Apple based app is going to have dark mode including the notes this is just great okay and again you just go to settings and you go into display and you enable or disable right from here now one thing I, I want you guys to notice is you have the automatic option so if you tap on automatic you have two options uh, you can set it to go on the dark mode to go on from sunset to sunrise or you can set a custom schedule uh, for when you want the dark mode to activate or not or you can just do it manually which is great okay and then when you pull down the notifications panel right over here uh, you do have the option to modify it from here as well as long as you enable the option inside and to do that what you do is you go into your control center you tap on customize controls and from here you can actually have the dark mode go over there uh, once that uh, option is in fact enabled all right for now it doesn't happen to be there this is remember a beta all right so that's the dark mode let's go back here make it normal display light fantastic and of course I do want to show there's much more going on with the iPad internally little things have been tweaked here and there uh, I'm not going to go over those I just want to give you guys some of the highlights which are the multitasking enhancements uh, the home screen with widgets uh, option and of course the dark mode and the light mode those are things that strike me directly and of course when you do go into notes and stuff uh, you'll see some new things but it's hard to see everything right now because this is the beta version and it's not giving me all the functionalities they even talked about but again everything is subtle again if I go to settings for example go to dark mode and if I go into my uh, Safari to type something even the keyboard has a dark mode okay so it's a, it's a system-wide application of that mode and of course we do have like I said many other little things here and there but they're not really that big uh, this is the biggest thing that I've seen so far the home screen the multitasking and the dark mode you do get some new fonts you get some performance boost which is hard to replicate right here on a beta software but that's it uh, if you do have any questions comments or concerns drop them down below and let me know guys and for now have a fantastic day all right so if you found this video useful make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video
And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.